So good evening guys, welcome to another episode of The Breeding Berserker with me, Matt, and I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever you've been getting up to. My first day back at work today after my few days break, um, nothing worse than going back and feeling like you need a holiday to get over the holiday that you've just had. And yes, you might have noticed my beard is slightly shorter. I've literally grown my beard out for a full year um, and I've kind of had it trimmed a little bit, still got a silly sort of kinky bit at the front and a bit of styled, had it taken down a bit at the side, but I'm still growing my beard, still keeping it and I'm still growing it out longer. And so yeah, but we'll cover that on another video that I'll be doing in the next day or so. And so basically, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, which some of you might not be, um, I'm trying to show you guys there is an alternative to throw money at these huge massive brands and companies and businesses out there that let's face it have got a shed ton of money that they can throw into marketing, promoting and advertising their products that these smaller brands don't have. And it's like the smaller brands, companies, individuals and smaller businesses have to work like five times harder in order to get their products out onto the market so people can see them, they don't have the huge vast amounts of cash to throw into marketing and promoting etc. So I'm here showing you guys that there is an alternative. Now when I say crafts, it's basically everything. I any Whether it's making beer products, skin products, hair products, t-shirts, jewellery, painting, all sorts of bits and pieces and stuff. So I'm here trying to support them, promote them and try and get their sort of products out there by doing these little reviews and stuff like that. Now with all the reviews that I am doing and have done, I'm pride of myself that everything is 100% honest. It's in my own opinion. I'm not affiliated to any of the products, brands, companies, businesses, individuals whatsoever. And I will use constructive criticism if there's stuff I don't particularly like and I will rave about it if it's something I do like. As with all the reviews that I do do, I will be putting the links down below in the description box, so please go check them out afterwards. And also before we start, a huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you out there that's helped support me and everything, because I, there's no point in me doing this without you guys, because this channel's not about me whatsoever. It's a, I mean, apart from me growing a beard, but it's all about the products, okay? And there's the small brands, small businesses, small companies and individuals and even families that are making products that we need to get behind help and support. So, got something different tonight for you. Um, still the same white silly polka dot mug of coffee. As you can see, I'm back in the review room tonight. Still in the process of tidying it up, we've got bits and pieces to go up and everything like that, and doing our bits and pieces. But anyway, I divulge. So it was either yesterday or the day before, I think it was actually yesterday, um, turned up in a post, and it's called pyrography. Now, for those of you not entirely sure what pyrography is, which I wasn't a hundred percent sure to start with, it's kind of a skill and an art form using almost like a soldering iron it's got different bits that you can put on the top of it which generates heat in which you can burn to usually wood you know you can mark wood by the different times that you hold it onto the wood it darker or lighter to make it lighter and shade it everything else like that and basically someone has sent some pyrography through for me to have a look at now, some of the stuff out there being created by these artists, crafters, creators, with using pyrography is absolutely stunning. I've done a few um, little Christmas decorations um, just before Christmas, funnily enough, uh, Viking rune ones. And that's the first time I've sort of really encountered pyrography. And basically, they've sent me through something to have a look at. Now, as with all the reviews that I do, I will be putting links down below in the description box, so please, please go check them out and support them because, in my opinion, we're all entitled to our own opinion, is what this person is creating is absolutely stunning. Now, they're over there on Instagram and it's Nilliography, Nilliography, but without the pyro taken off of it, Nilliography, and her name is Natalie. 
she's from the UK and she burns wood, basically bits, uh, designs and stuff into wood. Now, she's been going at it for a few years. Uh, she still works a full-time job and basically this is what she does in her spare time. And she does all sorts of bits and pieces uh, from sort of Christmas decorations, boxes, chopping boards, probably. Oh, any if it's wood and you can burn it, the chances are she's going to be doing it. And she kind of specialises and prefers doing animals, um, animal portraits, cartoons, sci-fi, fantasy, Harry Potter, gaming and that sort of thing. And... We've been chatting backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and said, well, I'd, I'd like to help and support you because I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing and astonishing. And so she had a look through all my pictures on Instagram because I'm over there, obviously, on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, as you probably know. And she had a look and she's come across one of the pictures of me with my sword and everything else um, Viking picture and everything and she said she's not kind of used to doing um, portraits of people and everything because she borders more on the sci-fi fantasy sort of thing but the picture that she saw because it was a side on view of my face and um, she thought she'd like to attempt it and have a go at doing some pyrography so basically she's done it on a box uh, she does it on all sorts of different shapes boxes and bits of words, signs for houses, Christmas decorations and all sorts of probably badges and everything. And so this is the box that she sent through, made of wood, because I suppose with pyrography in order to burn stuff onto it, it does need to be made of wood. A couple of little hinges on the back, I'm not showing you the design on the top, it's got a little flip top hinge and it's quite a nice deep opening it up without dropping it because that would be horrendous. Quite a nice deep clean looking box and the design that she has done is absolutely stunning now i really really do appreciate what artists can achieve because i'm i'm not an artist i'm not a craftsman um occasionally do a few little silly drawings and stuff like that heavily into my tattoos and that sort of artwork and stuff but since doing this and starting this channel back up way back in march I'm really kind of getting into what the people are creating out there, you know. Like I say, whether it's clothing, jewellery, pyrography, leather work, uh, forging stuff. It's it's just amazing. It's all art, if you know what I mean, and crafts. But this is the design that she has done. Now, that is ridiculous. As in, ridiculously good. Now... You, if you have, if you follow me over there on Instagram, you will Viking Beard Mount on Instagram. You will see the picture because it's still up there as one of my posts. Um, the time I was wearing a leather gauntlet uh, from Iron Bear Leather. Now, she's literally got everything right. The tattoo with my wife's name, P, even my little skull and crossbones and my lifeboat number, the wedding ring. Surf, my chest tattoo, um, got my swallow and my anchor and everything, and the tattoos going up my arm, and that is ridiculous. I mean, if you, I'm, I'm going to move it in. So you see, it's, she's done the rune lettering in gold, um, and you can see the silverness of the sword. She's done in silver, um, a wedding ring as well, even the design on. The sword it, that is just phenomenal, and I don't know how she managed to do it because I can. I, mine would have just looked like I was set fire to something, but that is ridiculously good. She's even got the pendant and everything that I was wearing on. It's down to a fine art, and the blue just kind of like helps bring it all together. And it, yeah, it's definitely me with my Viking haircut and everything else like that. <coughs> now she it's taken her I think just under a couple of weeks to do this from start to finish bearing in mind like I said she does this in her spare time and she works a full time job and she depending on what obviously you want doing whether it's boxes tags and everything depends a lot on cost and on basically how long it's going to take her and 
which it was a nice touch as well. Dun, dun, dun. She sent through a letter, bless her, um, explaining what she'd done. And it's really nice when people take the time out just to write a letter to go with something. It, it shows so much passion and everything. Um, but yeah, explaining everything that she's done. And I'm just blown away by it. I'm blown away by that. And I'm going to be putting my trinkets and bits and pieces in it. And the price that she would charge usually on a piece kind of like this, the sort of same sort of artwork, is 50 quid. Now, I know it might sound a lot, but when you think of how many hours she's put into doing that, the time, the effort and everything to get it like that, it's a nice box, it's not jagged, it's all sanded down, no chance of any splinters or anything. It's a nice clean box as well, like I say. Open it, and it's all nice and sanded and everything in there, no sharp bits and everything, nice and soft, well finished. And the cool thing is, it's knowing for 50 quid that there is nothing else like that at all in the world or ever will be. That is just a one-off bespoke piece of artwork that she has created that even if she I assume even if she done it again it would never look the same it would be slightly different and everything else like that. So 50 quid for something like that which like I say, probably one day when I die, if I choose to be cremated or something like that, my ashes might go in there, who knows? But whether I'm just flung out to sea or just buried in a cardboard box somewhere. But that is absolutely beautiful. That is stunning. And with all the crafts that I am doing, other than the beard products, skin products and hair products, I don't score them, okay? Because it's very difficult to score something like that and critique something. Yeah, I would critique it as in if it had... If it didn't look anything like the picture, I'd be like, yeah, okay. If it was a horrible jagged box and everything, and splinters and everything, I would say, yeah, the box could have been finished a bit better. Um, but I can't how don't know. I mean, different art to me is in the eye of the beholder, if you know what I mean. And the person creating it. So I, I can't expect something that's gonna look exactly like that picture that I done, if you know what I mean. Um, but that is near as close as God damn it, and considering all that is literally burnt on there using almost like a soldering iron pen, that is absolutely stunning. And I really, really, really do appreciate Natalie taking the time out, doing that, to send it through, to see what I think of it in order to show you guys about it. And try this is what I'm saying we need to support people like this because imagine right you're creating this you've created it and you like doing this sort of thing but you're not selling any or you're not sort of like making anything from it you're gonna sit there and go well what's the point of me doing it so we need to really I don't care what craft you're making whether it's paper craft leather craft making stuff out of stone anything you know we need to support people that have got skills and keep them going because if we don't they are going to give up and stuff like this is just going to be a thing of the past it's going to be laser etched on by a computer or something like that which to me has got no heart soul or passion in it and it's absolutely stunning i i cannot thank her enough for that that is going to be sitting up there on my shelf um i've got the picture going up there with me uh, the oil paint as well. I'm doing some work on the shield as well at the moment But that is absolutely stunning and I cannot thank Natalie uh, from Nilly Nillyography For sending that through. I cannot thank you enough for that. That means so much to me and thank you very very much Like I say with all of the reviews I do I do put the links down below so please go check now out. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan myself to be honest I half watched one once and then it was like no, not my cup of tea, uh, but some of the stuff that she's done, Harry Potter, Hogwarts stuff, gaming stuff. There's a couple of uh, portraits she's done of dogs on there. All sorts of it's Christmas sort of like decorations with lace that you can hang on a tree and stuff like that. The stuff that she's creating is absolutely stunning. Uh, there's another one as well, which is a coat of arms. Just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant work. And 
Natalie, please carry on doing what you're doing because when you're pumping out work like that, it's absolutely top notch and it was a pleasure to literally open it and unbox it and thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate that. So, and that ends another review. She, like I say, Natalie is over, uh, Niliography is over there on Instagram as well, so I'll put links. So go check her out. But yeah, and now I've got a couple more reviews lined up as well. And I'm actually going to be reviewing a couple more scents from Savage Alchemy. That's coming up over the next week or so. I've also got a new balm bib that's been sent through beard balm, but that's been sent through from Audacious Beard Company, and I'm doing a live one as well at some point over the next week as well. And so yeah, so I've got a few bits in the pipeline. So stay tuned, and in the live one, I'm going to be talking about the beard and what I think about the cut that I had done. I've also Saturday as well as in day after tomorrow, I'm doing. Another review of some tattoo stuff that's been sent through, tattoo, uh, sort of gel, um, sort of like tattoo junk that you put on your, wherever you're having your tattoos done and reviewing that. But I'm going to be having the tattoo done and recording that at the same point. And so that's going to be another review as well. So a few bits and pieces up and coming. So stay tuned. Thank you, like I say, to each and every one of you for the sub sub subscribe to my channel watching my reviews liking what I'm doing I really do appreciate it because like I said this is not about me this is about people out there with talent that are making some amazing things that we need to get behind and support so thank you guys for that keep on taking care of each other keep on looking after each other keep on loving each other keep on growing those beards if you're growing a beard I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Beard of Berserker have a great evening guys thank you